for the world true uh, the first thing that uh, uh, can be done is to uh, look at the uh, um, uh, tester class uh, and look for a, a single uh, grouping of actions and so the test, the test pass method for example and uh, start from there without going into much detail about how to in, uh, I internal uh, implementation of the engine is uh, uh, so uh, it is just to check whether uh, the uh, tester class uses the uh, engine appropriately um, and in the meantime uh, notes uh, of questions can be made uh, when uh, uh, the engine uh, then gets explored so for the uh, test plus uh, method uh, there is a uh, first statement that uh, by looking at the comment it says that it uh, makes sure that the engine is in a valid starting state uh, so um, before that th there is uh, this engine uh, variable uh, and uh, it seems that it, it is assumed that uh, it has been uh, that it refers to uh, um, a value uh, to a valid value uh, but um, we have to check if uh, it has been initialized in its declaration or in the constructor of the tester class uh, by looking at the uh, uh, constructor uh, there is no initial, initialization of the uh, engine uh, for well there is an initialization of engine it's the new calc engine what are you saying fuck it Ah, okay, in this case it is initialized. Fuck it. I thought otherwise. Eh, mannaggia, mi sono scordato tutto. Uh, for, okay. for the walkthrough, uh, a single uh, grouping of actions is uh, looked at each time. Uh, so, um, it can be started by uh, looking, uh, examining uh, the test plus method in the uh, tester class uh, and uh, uh, th this uh, uh, examination will happen without uh, looking too much in the uh, details uh, of the other classes uh, and how they internally work uh, because uh, uh, for now uh, the, uh, the work through uh, checks only that uh, the tester is uh, using the engine class uh, correctly. Uh, then uh, notes of questions can be made uh, to um, uh, use them when uh, the a source of the uh, engine uh, is examined uh, 
to see uh, if uh, uh, everything that is uh, internally implemented works correctly. Uh, so for the test plus method, uh, the first uh, statement um, is engine.clear uh, and uh, it uses a, a variable uh, engine, uh, engine uh, which is assumed to, to uh, refer to a valid uh, value uh, but uh, this needs to be checked uh, that uh, the variable has been correctly initialized in the declaration or in the constructor of the class uh, and uh, this is actually uh, true for uh, the tester class uh, but it is a common error uh, to not um, initialize uh, the, um, the variable then uh, the clear method is invoked and by uh, looking at the comment it uh, is assumed that this clear method makes sure that the engine is in a valid starting state. Uh, to check that it, this is actually true um, the internal uh, implementation of the engine class should be um, should be read uh, but for now this is not done because uh, the only uh, thing that is uh, um, checked now is that the, um, that the tester class is using the engine uh, correctly uh, so uh, uh, then there is uh, a, a digit entry with uh, number pressed here in the test plus and um, it uh, is given a value of 3 then uh, uh, the plus there is a call to plus so now uh, the left the uh, hand operator is a tree uh, and uh, uh, it is assumed that uh, the uh, plus call uh, will um, uh, make an addition uh, this also will be checked later when looking at the source of the engine class uh, then there is another digit entry for the left operator uh, which is 4 and then the, there is a call to equals uh, which um, uh, differently for, uh, from how uh, may be expected doesn't return uh, the result uh, but it just uh, tells to uh, complete the computation. Uh, then the uh, result is uh, uh, returned with uh, another call to get display value and uh, this will give the final result. Uh, and so all of these uh, um, methods then will be checked in the engine uh, but for now, uh, the test uh, uh, class, uh, at least for the test plus method, uh, works correctly. It, it, uh, basically, uh, it was checked that uh, it uh, uh, uses the engine uh, appropriately, and uh, in particular, it uh, um, creates a, a recognizable sequence of uh, uh, key presses uh, in order to uh, arrive to a calculation. Uh, for the test minus, the reasoning uh, seems pretty similar. Uh, 
there is mm, there seems to be uh, not much uh, more questions to uh, make because uh, uh, the um, the key presses are uh, the first one to clear the um, a previous uh, a computation uh, uh, like in a, um, a real calculator um, then uh, two digits are pressed uh, to tell um, uh, the right hand and left hand operator uh, and uh, the minus uh, uh, is called the minus method uh, so this also needs to be checked that uh, it actually uh, does uh, uh, a subtraction uh, then there is again the equals method and the get display value method so the only question that is added is uh, uh, to check uh, that the minus method uh, uh, correctly uh, works and after all this uh, test all can be uh, checked uh, so uh, that it uses test plus and test minus uh, appropriately uh, it is um, uh, lines of uh, printing uh, to the output uh, uh, some um, text and the second statement uses test plus and the fourth statement uses test minus uh, and it gives just the result of uh, the operation uh, but uh, it doesn't give any clue uh, for the user of uh, what is uh, addition and what is subtracted so there is no way uh, to easily check uh, whether the result should be the one that is printed and the last statement all tests passed um, is uh, provided uh, every time test all is called even if test plus or test minus uh, don't give the um, right result so this needs to be changed and now that uh, uh, all of these uh, um, methods uh, the whole uh, tester class uh, has been checked for um, appropriately using the uh, engine uh, class now the source of the engine can be examined, ex examined. Um, it, uh, it might be a temptation to um, change uh, the uh, code um, right um, after the uh, an error is uh, seen but uh, this um, um, might may, may only uh, mask the error um, and uh, uh, to well um, um Well, how it was. Um, so, a concrete part of debugging is uh, to be able to Um, 
it's to be able to uh, trigger the error um, uh, in a, uh, an easy and uh, uh, repeatable way uh, so that when the correction is made uh, the, um, um, this can be checked that it actually solves the error 